Hey guys, how you doing? This is Julian Lee, and in today's video, we're gonna be reviewing SEMrush, right? It's the ultimate uh, competitor analysis uh, marketing tool uh, to find out what your competition is doing and, and lets you know how you could actually rank for certain keywords. Um, what 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 other things are your competitors doing from a from an uh, organic search perspective, from a paid search perspective, and what type of ads they're running, all that information is perfect. So if you're a marketing agency, if you've got your own company and you're putting out content and you wanna actually be able to see how you stack against the competition, how you beat the competition, this is the type of tool that you're gonna to need to get that data uh, before you actually go to market, right? So let's go ahead and um, move my video here to the bottom right. If you wanna check out the tool, guys, my link is in the uh, description field. Click on that and take a look at that. And uh, let's go ahead and go over to SEM, SEM Rush, as you can see, there's all in one marketing toolkit for digital marketing professionals. Now, let me log into my account real quick and show you guys the type of data you could actually get out of here, right? Go ahead and log in. <clears throat> all right, so now we're going to go ahead and actually look up a domain. I'm going to actually use Bigger Pockets, a real estate investing company, as you can see there on the page. Um, we're going to use them as an example. So, if anyone out there doing um, you know, an investigation in this domain, Make sure you hit me up and give me uh, give me a little deposit there because I've done some information for you for free. <laughs> no, but um, this is this is the kind of information, guys, that's out there. Really, check this out. This let them, this lets you know this is their organic search and their paid search and the backlink. So as you could tell they're not doing any paid advertising, right? They're getting three hundred and sixty eight thousand visitors, all right, um, based off organic traffic, right? You can see, you can see the breakdown in the U.S. You can see their top uh, performing keywords there, you, and all these reports, by the way, you could actually export these full reports. And actually sort them however you want okay branded search versus branded search all their backlinks information um their uh their their uh anchor text referring domains that send them traffic guys everything is here and everything could be exported as far as getting that information and um, so you can know how to actually run this even if you're an agency you're providing this information to clients you could do all that good stuff um through this particular tool very powerful if you want to take a look at uk uh google for instance for biggerpockets.com, um, then of course you'd actually go there. You could actually see the amount of traffic they're getting there. Obviously, in the U.S. traffic is where they're really killing it because they're U.S. based, All right? So we'll go back to that, and you could actually drill in um, further too, right? So if you want to see their organic search, obviously, obviously we know we're not doing, they're not doing any paid search, so I can't show you anything there. But we could actually drill into their organic searches, and you could actually see what their top performing keywords are, right now. Again, I've got them sorted by position, this, which means these keywords they show up on the first page of Google for. But you could also sort this however you want, right? You can sort this by competition, or excuse me, by volume is what I should say there. And let me sort it the other direction. And you could see, you know, the, the volume of these keywords. Oops, I think I didn't, I didn't pick something here. I mean, let's do that again. I'm trying to show you guys the um, the volume here. There you go. Again, this 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 is just based on the volume. Obviously, you got the volume, you got the keyword there. Um, but these keywords it shows you how much volume each keyword gets on a monthly basis, right? So this is this is what that looks like. And again, if you want to see what they're ranking for um, any particular competitor, then you could definitely sort that and see what they show up in the face uh, first page of Google for. And that's a lot of keywords. And a lot of times, guys, it's about uh, you know quantity. Excuse me, about quality, not quantity. You can see there, there's 3,000 pages there. This entire report can actually be exported. And you can see there, they've got, um, I'm going to go down to three pages. Like this is the second page of their number one rankings. This is their third page for the number one rankings. Let's see here. And you can see there, they're getting first page for a lot of keywords. So they, they got their, their SEO game down and tight. They put out a lot of content there. And that's why they're an authority figure. And these are highly targeted keywords, how to work with investors for real estate. I mean, these are very targeted keywords that they're actually ranking for. How to invest real estate notes. They've got this stuff on lock. And this is why they're getting 300 and something thousand visitors on a monthly basis, right? Now, obviously, if they were doing any paid advertising, we'd actually be able to see, you know, their competitors. Um, but you can see their organic competitors here as well, right? So who are the organic competitors uh, of these guys? Here it is right here. Again, this is all stuff that could be exported. It should have common keywords, the traffic, all this data is there, guys, right? Paid keywords for the folks that's running um, um, any paid advertising, fortune builders. These are their these are their competitors, right? These are their number one competitors or everyone that you see on this page. Um, so let's see here. Let's grab one. Let me see if there's any that's doing any paid adver advertising on here. So these that way, <clears throat> I want to bring it up and show you guys 
what a paid competitive data looks like. Let me see if they've got any paid. Let me scroll over here. Paid keywords. Let's sort them. I can't sort them by that. Okay, it's like fortune builders are doing some paid advertising. So let's let's jump over to them. Let's copy this real quick. And let's jump jump into here and see what our fortune builders are doing. Um, as you can see there, let's see. Okay, so organic search. Um, and of course, those are their competitors, their organic competitors. Let's see what they're paid. Let's see um, advertising research. Let's see what they're doing. They're doing any paid advertising, right? And as you can see there, boom, these are their ads. These are these are the keywords they're, they're actually targeting, right? Check this out, guys. Their cost per click and everything. This is great information um, from a marketing and competitive perspective of what it gives you. These are what they're actually running ads from. And actually, you know something? There is a spot in here. You could actually even drill down in there as well um, to show you know what the ads look like. Let me see if I can actually drill in here. All right, see, look at that now. This lets you know, look at the, look at the data. And letting you know what they're paying for the keywords, right? Um, letting you know the, um, the phrase match keywords they're doing. That should let you know, and that's good to know. They're doing phrase matching these keywords. So these are specific phrases. Um, it lets you know what the competitive keywords are. Let's take a look at the ad history. Let's see what that gives us. Okay, look at this, guys. And there, this is their, their ad history that they've been running these ads for. So obviously, you can see this is 2017, but um, this is this month. Whatever they've been running for a period of time that lets you know those ads are working for them, right? So that's giving you that type of data. Um, there's a spot in here I want to try to show you guys real quick. And it is, um, let me see if I can find it real quick here. I actually want to see the type of ads they're showing. And I know that it does show that. Let me see if I could drill in there a little bit different. Display advertising. Let's just put their domain in here real quick again. So I can show you guys. Um, there it is. Yes, I'm in the right spot. There it goes. So here it is. Display advertising, guys. These are the ads. Sorry, this is a drop down, right? This is an overview. Try searching for a keyword. Okay. So okay. So let's take a look for a keyword. But these are the type of ads that they would use. This is not them specifically, but this is ads in general. See samples of suggested advertisers. So we got to go. So this is what we got to do. We got to go back real quick, and actually let me go back and grab on their keywords that they're actually targeting. That we know they're targeting, and then we could use that to look up the ads they're running. Okay, so so here was one of them. All right, so they're actually running that on N NYC events. Okay, um, let's take a look here. Let me grab that real quick and look at their the advertising. Oh, advertising research. So let's NYC plus events. All right, so not really doing that one. They did that at a point, right? It'll it'll actually show you here. I'll show you what ads we're running. Let's take a look at uh, advertising research. Let's see what that gives us there. All right, so let's see here. So we could actually put a domain in here or the keywords. Let's see. Inba again, you could search off the domain or the keyword to get that information here. And you can see what's running and the type of ads that's running there. There are there they are right here. Fortune builders, boom. All right, so they're running Find and Flip Homes, New York. So this lets you know the type of pay-per-click ads that they're actually running, guys. This, this this software, man, gives you the goods straight up and down, guys. And it lets you know what people are running there. So you actually get an idea of what type of ads are running. And it lets you know how long they've been running those ads for. Obviously, the longer they've been running the ads, it means it's working, right? So you could actually use that to um, give you some ideas of how to create your own ad that actually works in that particular space. So that's what that's pretty much all about. So I actually wanted to show you guys this. Okay, those are organic search results there, and these are the match phrases um, of the paid CPC distribution in the United States. Let's you know what areas too. Wow, this is some great information, guys. This, you know, if, if you know what you're doing from an advertising perspective, this gives you a lot of good information now. Let me see. They're not doing much display advertising. They're doing a text um, search-based advertising. So let's just say, let's take a look at this. Let's take a look at, look at real estate investing since we're on that topic right let's do a search let's see what we're doing it by keywords now curious to see what shows up there and this looks like probably a lot of people are not running stuff for um okay no there they are there's there's some information one day scene 300 days these are different ads that people run for real estate investing these are display ads right so you see all the banner ads there 
Freedom Mentor has been running a lot of different things. Last seen, 491 days. Last seen, 44 days. 44. Oh, this is over a year ago, of course. Almost a year ago. So, um, last seen, here it is. This is something recent. Last seen, 31 days. It's been the last 30 days. So, this gives you an idea. If you're creating some banner ads for your real estate investment firm, or whatever the case is, or if you're doing this for a client, this gives you an idea of what type of ads to run. You can see, you can see that they've tested these different ads, right? It, they're no longer around, so they're obviously not working. Um, so, you know, this will give you some good insights of what you can actually start off with, right? Look at all these different ads, guys. This is great information. And again, this is what this tool brings. And, um, you know, I was, I'm glad I'm able to bring this up. And anyone that's in uh, real estate investment that, that's checking this out, make sure you send me a donation. You know what I'm saying? I've done some of your work for you. <laughs> no, real though, guys. Um, this is a pretty damn uh, powerful tool. I've been using this for the last several uh, last months uh, for some stuff for myself as well as some clients as well. So this def this this tool definitely works and we'll get the job done. Um, so guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this review of SEM Rush, right? The uh, powerful uh, marketing research and competitive analysis tool. So um, if it's something you want to take a look at, my link is in the description field. Click on that link and um, you know um, take a look at that. And if you know if, if again as a bonus, if you decide to pick it up through my particular link, um, we could always definitely you know just the seminar proof that you pick it up through me, I'll be able to confirm that. And uh, we could definitely jump on a quick Zoom call, you know, do a free um, consultation, we'll go over a strategy for a good 30 minutes minimum. So I think, I think to, um, to me, that time is extremely valuable and then information will be extremely, extremely valuable as well. Okay, so this is Julian Lee. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. I will see you in the next one. Much love and appreciation for you guys being here. Take care.